Hello fellow gear horse. Today I have the Helicon Text Bob or the Bug Out Bag. Now there's a lot of bags in the market right now that disguise themselves as a bug out bag. When in reality they're just a gym bag or a duffel bag. That's just one giant compartment that you throw your stuff in there. Not like the Bob which is at least in my opinion a true bug out bag because it does have individual compartments for certain things that you would need in a quote unquote bug out situation. If you're not familiar with Helicon Text they are a Polish company and they make everything from belts, bags, waterproof garments, jackets, shirts, shorts, pants, everything, everything in between. We're going to start on the outside. You can notice here in the front, there is this panel here, which is removable. Now this panel features a zipped compartment here and a three magazine shingle, which is on the inside. It is Cordura constructed. The zipper compartment you notice that it's a reverse type zipper and all it basically means is and all the zippers here is on a regular type zipper you can see the teeth of the zipper on the reverse type you're basically sewing it inside out which requires a special type of zipper slider it's a little cleaner look than having the exposed teeth and they won't get as damaged as easy because the teeth are hidden on the inside for the zipper pulls they opted for a paracord with some shrink tube with a knot in the end Personally, I'm not a huge fan of the shrink tubing. I know it's really popular in the market right now. Tons of companies are using it. To me, it's just, because I have pretty large hands, it just, it's it's so thin that it doesn't really give me a good feel. But I know people like that, so to each their own. Open up that compartment. On the inside, you got this soft material here. So anything with a hook or a Velcro hook will stick onto this. Helicon does offer a Velcro on the holster magazine carriers, first aid kit, general general purpose pouches, etc. Pretty much if it's it's Velcro, like a patch, it's gonna stick into here. And you get that on both sides. Just adds to the modularity of the pouch. The magazine shingle, let me go ahead and open this up so you can see it. So here's our front removable modular panel. And it simply attaches by four G-hook metal hooks. And on the bag, You'll notice that there's this loop there, loop there, loop there, and loop there. And those four hooks attach to those four points. Really easy to remove and install. So if you turn it on the back here. And this actually also allows you to flip the panel the other way. So if you don't want the, the pouch on the outside, you can actually flip it and rehook it with the G-hooks. And you can leave this exposed if you like. Three magazine shingles here. Fit M4, probably AK type magazine as well. This is adjustable, so if you want to lower the retention or raise it, you can adjust the knot on the bungee cord. This is what it looks like in its slick configuration. You'll notice here the same type of V Lambda style sewing. Kind of gives it a, breaks up the lines a little bit to add some nice styling to it. Cordura base fabric here. This is more of a lighter, like pack cloth type of material here. This is a zip compartment, again with the reverse zips. This compartment goes from here all the way down to pretty much here where I'm touching my, my fingers. You can probably fit a smaller laptop or a tablet like an iPad, full size iPad into here. This is very well padded, very thick padded. So whatever you put in here is gonna be well protected. Really stiff kind of foam, not like a soft foam, but it's, it's, it's pretty rigid and you can hear that. Now this pocket, because it is so slick and flat in nature, there's no pleat to it. And because of the thick foam as well, it doesn't allow this pocket to expand. So whatever you put in there, you can see, I mean, it's gonna have to be pretty much the thickness of an iPad or something like a document size. But if you're trying to shove something big in there, it's not gonna work. And a little bit hidden too is a little lanyard there, an accessory liner, lanyard. So if you're gonna tie your you know, GPS or keys or whatever you don't want to lose, you can tie it into there. On the very top, another pocket. Same style of rain flies lid to cover the zipper. Now, whereas these lids are nice because it does cover the zipper, it gives it an extra layer of protection from, from the elements. When you access the zipper, sometimes it's a pain in the butt because you have to kind of slide it up to move the zipper. This one's not as bad because this material here is actually like a stretch material. So when you move it, it kind of stretches along the way. However, in this top pocket, 
The pocket itself has a stretch fabric, but here they actually opted for the pack cloth. So this one makes it a little bit more difficult to open. So it would actually be nice if they opted to use the same stretch fabric on the top lid as well. You can see this one, because of the stretch fabric, it expands pretty nicely. So if you're gonna put something a little bit thicker in there, you have that extra space. Whereas this pocket here, when you reach in, you can't, when you expand, you're actually expanding into the actual main bag itself versus the outside. So this is a good pocket to throw in your keys, wallet, phone, headphones, or anything else you kind of want to just quickly toss to get rid of. You can see though, when you have the zip covers, it does make it look very, very slick, very clean. On the side, water bottle pocket. They use the same pack cloth material as here. It would have been nice if they used the stretch fabric here. It's definitely not as loud as that material and it stretches so it's even probably even give a little more stretch on this part but it is pretty big enough where you can probably fit a, a 30 ounce bottle you also get these two slim side carry handles which i love oftentimes when you have a, a larger bag it may be on its side or on its bottom so grabbing the bag and you have to pick it up from the shoulder strap and then now you're just shifting all that weight back and forth this is a nice way where you can put it on its side and briefcase carry it and also if you're going to slide it in between the seat or the back of a car seat you can actually just slide it in sideways and pull it out you can just slide it this way so absolutely love these handles it's also you also got one on the bottom so if you're going to slide it this way sideways into between the seat you can slide it back and forth on the back nice big grab handle here reinforced stitching everywhere so whatever you put in here, the weight-wise, this is this is definitely not going anywhere. Shoulder straps, two polymer D rings here, elastic here. So if you're gonna have a hydration type of thing, you can actually stretch this open, stick your hydration through it, and then clip your keys or something else here. Reinforced stitching here, big box X's, double stitch looks like on top and bottom, very nice. Removable sternum strap, three-quarter inch. You got a little bit of a stretch there, so if you want to do a, a quick adjust, that's there. All the adjustment points have this Velcro. Bottom of the shoulder strap, you have QD buckles. So if you're wearing multiple layers and you want to ditch your bag, instead of pulling all your layers off, all you got to do is clip, clip, and this will just slide through all your kit. Reinforced bar tacks here. Very nice. Pretty much everywhere where you're going to have a lot of stress, a lot of weight, they have reinforced bar tacks. On the very back, nice, thick, very thick foam here. And then covered with a soft mesh, breathable type of material. Nice big air channel here. I did forget to mention on this top pocket, you also have a lanyard keeper as well. It's just hidden on the inside there. On the very back of the seam. Now let's get into the inside of the bag. You notice here these zippers go all the way down this oval shape. And that's where the bag can open flat. And I'll show you in a second. I did want to mention here on the bottom here where the zipper opens up, there is this Cordura cover to protect the zippers. So if this is, if this wasn't here, these zippers would be exposed. So anytime you would drop the bag or slide it, you have the potential of damaging the zipper. So that is a nice feature to protect your zips on both sides. So let's go ahead and open it up. You can see oval shape and oval shape as well. And voila, here is the inside of the bag. So the lid of the bag, you have this mesh pocket here, zip, pretty fairly large portion there. Probably fit a smaller tablet in there, definitely not a full size. You have this one inch clip here, which I'll show you in a few while it's there. Pack cloth there and that thick foam type material here. It would be nice to have maybe an additional pocket here or maybe some some Velcro as well for another tearaway pouch, but it's slick there. As you can see in the very top of the bag, we have three rows of Molly Pals webbing. 
so you can install your own pouches, first aid kits, magazine pouches, general purpose pouches, and on and on. So you have that modularity there, and this goes across all the way. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, about fifteen rows, or sorry, fifteen columns in three rows of Molly Pals real estate. On the bottom, we have these two football-shaped mesh pockets. You can see they're they're fairly large. These two mesh compartments here, which you can cinch down. These are, I mean, first aid kits, collapsible jacket go in there, MREs, rations, food. There's just there are so many options you can do with the inside of this bag. So one cool feature it has is this handle right here. So if you actually want to open the bag all the way up, you can hang it in your LZ, in your vehicle, back of your truck, and you can use it as a truck bag like this, as a panel. So you simply just hang this up here via this strap. And for the back of the bag, so that way your, your front flap doesn't come flying out. And I, you can see I already buckled it here, but there's actually a buckle on the flap. So you fold this back like so, and there's this mail buckle here. You turn it from the back and it clips into place. So now you have a cool little cargo hanger. You can see there's a top zip compartment here as well. Besides it being the access to the frame sheet, this is also, you can, you can well you can't feel like I can, but there's actually plastic reinforced here. That way it supports the Molly Pals webbing. There's a bag that comes out that you can pull out. So it's like a small dry bag. Zip it up, put some stuff in there, close it up, and just simply slide back into here. And then you also have a nice large pocket here. This pocket pretty much is from this side here to here, all the way down. You can see my hand up to my elbow goes into the compartment. And if you want to close the bag back up, So if you open your bag you don't want this to fly open, there's also these two buckles here. It keeps the bag, gives the bag a little bit of shape so doesn't, your wings don't fly out. So you get two of these, what they call their beaver tail. One can be on the bag, one can be used separate as a little satchel and rig it as a chest rig. You also get this little mat here, a little seat mat. It actually improvises a seat cushion or you can take a knee on it, sit on it, or a little bit lay on it. I mean, this thing, how you have it laid out, you can probably even do a little improvised shooting mat. I mean, there's just so many things you can just think of, of how to use this. Now, a nice thing is too, if you lay this open and if you have this rigged as a medical kit, whatever situation you are, broken glass or whatever, you can actually just take a knee on this, which is, which is heavily padded, and it acts as all your medical kit here without getting yourself injured. I mean this this bag is, is pretty tripped out. Never seen anything really like this. I mean I like stuff I like my stuff organized. So really if you think about it, if you have this thing fully kitted out, you open up your bag, nothing's gonna fall out. When you have all your magazines in here, all these pockets filled out, you can literally open this bag out and nothing falls out, which I absolutely love. So now this bag I believe retails for under 200 bucks. Good value, good quality stuff. Obviously, it's all imported for the price, but like I said, for the value you get and the amount of design you get, it's not just some generic looking bag. It's it's There's a lot of process, a lot of thought process, a lot of design that went into making this bag. Again, this is the Helicon Tex Bob the Bug Out Bag. It's a Polish company. Really cool. I suggest you check it out. I'll put a link in the description. We got more videos coming. Be sure to subscribe, like, leave a comment. Thanks for watching.